just shows the level of sustained anger now that's building against Israel and its international criminal actions, really. I think the momentum is with us, as we can see from this turnout even today. On a Sunday afternoon, the climate has shifted. Israel is the pariah nation now, we can see that. And there's an international movement which is growing and growing, and it can only get better. It can only get better and stronger. Take our wound brothers out first. They ignored us for a good three hours. They were having cousins here. They knew what was going on there. Turn the blind eyes. One of my friends is a British citizen. Origin from Turkey. He speaks three languages. Israeli said, Oh, you! They said to me, Oh, you! Come here! Same time they called our number the guy. So my friend said, What if they don't understand your language? I only speak once. If you ask me to speak again, my gun will go to talk. That's what they said to us. When that brother voluntarily stand up, they searched him. And he was helping them out for the translation. He was bitten by the Israeli dog. Deliberately, they let that dog out on him. He was just stood there, helping them out to make their life easy for them coming. What they said, the dog has been trained. If there is any threat to us, they'll bite you. How can that gentleman want a threat to them? He's been searched. He only had a t-shirt and nothing else on it, just a short. When they got me out of my hands when I walked out from the boat, the first mobile phone came out from my pocket, one of them put it in his pocket. Second one, another one, another one put it in his pocket. Third one, another guy took it. I had a camcorder bag on my neck. Brand new camcorder, we just bought it before I went on journey for 500 quid. One of the guys took it off, put it in his combat trousers pocket. And they strangled me with that. Come on their back. And they put the tigers back on my hands. Then they started kicking and punching me. Cowards. Not only me, they did this to so many of them. Even the cowards, I think they should be charged for indecent assault on a sister too. Yes. If they wanted to search any females, they should have the officers there, but they didn't know how many officers there. Free Palestine! Free, free! 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 The initial stage of the Mardi Marmara sea journey was one of the most amazing experiences of my life. I was in awe of so many people that I met. People from all walks of life, including journalists, diplomats, writers, performers, humanitarian workers and key religious figures, dignities that were known worldwide and respected. It included the Bishop Capucci from the Vatican, from Italy. I was honored to be in his presence. The atmosphere aboard the Mardi Marmara was one of solidarity, compassion, spirituality and a hope for the people of Gaza. This flotilla was to mark history. It was to break the siege in Gaza in a way that would expose the truth of the Gaza situation to the world. I believed that the evidence we would collect with the help of dozens of journalists would make the world take responsibility for humanity, for justice and for peace. Israel would have to be held accountable for its actions and the siege would have to end. How naive of me. The threat our humanitarian flotilla posed to the tyrannical regime of Israel was too great. Humanity and truth were the greatest weapons we, we were armed with. Israel was not going to allow neither humanity nor truth to prevail. Now you've heard different accounts in the media of what occurred in the Mardi Marmara. Here is the truth as I personally experienced it. 
As a model armor sale from international militants, it was stalled by Israeli commando forces who were armed with live weapons, gunships, helicopters, and a hunger for killing civilians. They paid no consideration to law or logic as they senselessly executed brave men who fought to defend against their terror. The scene was one of inconceivable carnage, blood, and death. Without warning, passengers were fired at, and amongst the dead were people armed with only cameras like some of you are carrying today. Like, like my beautiful young shy friend, Furkan. Furkan wanted the world to know the truth about the attack. Israeli soldiers were not prepared to allow that to happen. They stopped him by shooting him in the face several times. I know of others who were shot in the head and in the chest. What we encountered on the Mardi Marmara is just a tiny insight to what the people of Palestine endure every day. Our empathy for the people of Palestine has increased. Our determination and our sense of responsibility to their suffering has magnified and taken on a new life. The Israeli media manipulation machine has provided a grossly warped version of the truth. South Africa, we now all see the mirror for what is now happening in Palestine. I myself have seen the apartheid wall, witnessed the checkpoints. Who cannot compare this to the creation of the banter stands? Anyone reading the South African apartheid laws cannot but condemn the state of Israel. If only for plagiarising the racism we all saw in South Africa. What goes on in South uh, on in Israeli prisons, I feel has been plagiarised from an older fascist regime. With South Africa there was a turning point. Sixty years ago this year, there was a massacre at Sharpeville when people gathered to protest against the pass laws. Official figures said more than 60 people were killed. The world sat up and noticed. They finally took notice. The international campaign began in earnest. Boycott. Disinvestment and sanctions. Please. Sounds familiar? Yes. Please. Back then, we said every cape apple, grape, or South African fruit paid for a bullet with which to kill our people. Now, today, what is happening in Gaza in December 2008, or two weeks ago when the A flotilla was attacked, is this generation's sharp bill. The world has noticed the bravery of our comrades. It must not be forgotten. Support the campaign. Support the boycott. And as I said to my friends from Nablus when they were over last year, they'd never heard it before. In our thousands, in our millions, we are all... Yeah.